We are in the era of artificial intelligence. AI is taking over many facets of our lives. The markets are no different. In this video, I'm going to show you how to code the 920 EMA crossover trading strategy with ChatGBT. I'm not a computer programmer. I prefer listening to my records over Spotify, but I'm also a realist. AI can help retail traders develop and implement strategies quickly. That's why it's useful. It can help non-coders code. In many ways, AI has leveled the playing field. Let me show you how. Here's our fully coded 9 EMA, 20 EMA crossover strategy. You'll see that it has three components. It has a sell signal, a buy signal, and trend strength indicator. Now a sell signal is going to just be a purple bar. The first one after the 9 EMA crosses under the 20. Our buy signal is going to be the first bar after the 9 EMA crosses over the 20 EMA. And our trend strength indicator is going to be a shade. We're going to shade the area between our 9 EMA and our 20 EMA. That's going to tell us how strong a trend is. Generally, the wider this distance is or the greater our shaded area is the stronger the trend whereas when we get very very tight that means that the market's flattening out and maybe we want to avoid trading the strategy now how to use chat gbt to code that's going to be our ai construct there's a, there's a few out there now we're going to use chat gbt everybody has it it's free coding process simple number one we're going to assign a purpose we're going to determine what we want the software to do that was each of our three functions number two write a conditional statement we're going to sit down and use our logic in simple language and write down what we want the platform to do third we're going to enter the statement into chat gbt it's going to transfer our statement into code then we're going to take that code we're going to copy it into our platform we're going to go ahead and compile typically there's a function in the, in your platform that'll use to compile and plot um, the uh, the code on the chart which is what we want and then we're going to troubleshoot troubleshoot is going to be the most important thing we do let's talk a little bit about that right now Okay, let's run through the process uh, very quickly uh, using our ChatGBT AI platform to code some PineScript for our TradingView platform. We'll be making an MT5 with meta quotes a little bit later on this year. Uh, this is very simple. You go down, you hit Pine Editor at the bottom of your screen. You're going to go ahead and want to extend this so you can see uh, the actual code. And you go right here, uh, go ahead to Create New, and then hit Indicator, and that's going to give you what we have right here. So our conditional statement is simple. I want to shade all positive candlesticks gold on my TradingView chart. Write me the code in PineScript version 6. Now, always know the version of the platform you're using. It always helps to be up to date. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, conditional statement. We're going to run it into ChatGBT. And what it's going to do is it's going to convert our basic language into coding language. And in this case, it's going to be PineScript. So once our, our code is completed, very simple. You're going to see your explanation. We're going to go right here to copy code. We are going to want to start on line four. You're going to delete all this because that is included in our ChatGBT code. We're going to go ahead and paste it. Then we're going to go ahead and add it to chart. So once we hit add to chart, we're going to run it and see if it works. Now, most scripts right off the bat will not work. So what you're going to have here is you're going to have an error signal. What you do with the error signal, and this is troubleshooting, is you're going to type it directly into chat GBT. There you have it. Go ahead and hit enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give us another iteration and it's going to give us an explanation of why the last one had an error signal in it. So from here on in, this becomes a function of trial and error. What you're going to do is you're going to keep copying codes and putting them into, uh, in this case, your PineScript editor. Eventually, uh, you will come up with the right answer. ChatGBT, very good at figuring things out. Go ahead and paste. Go ahead and update it on the chart uh, yet again. And does it in fact work? Okay, we have highlighted in gold, which actually is a kind of a useful little indicator. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to refine that down to each price bar. And that's just a function of going over here and entering exactly what you want. Modify existing script to, to the inside of the price bar. You can do that. That's just basic logic. Now, full disclosure, these things can take a while for what I coded today. What we're going to go over, that was the dialogue, and it went all the way down until I actually asked who was favored in the NFL football game that night. So that's a quick look at our process. Uh, let's go ahead and work through. Let's see if we can build our strategy and code it relatively quickly using ChatGBT. 
Okay, let's code the first part of our trading strategy. This is gonna be shading the area between the nine EMA and the 20 EMA green. Here's our conditional statement. I need a PineScript version six code for the following command. Shade the area between the nine EMA and the 20 EMA green. We're gonna go ahead and input that into ChatGBT and uh, go ahead and spin the wheels and see what it spits out. Here's, we've got a copy code. All right, we've got a base code. So let's go ahead and start the process here. You're gonna go ahead and copy the code. Go over here to your PineScript editor. Go up there to line four. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and right click and give it a paste and here we go go ahead and add that to the chart and we'll see if it does plot or if there's any errors in the script all right thus far it, it looks to be shaded uh, let's go ahead and go up to settings and see if we can uh, see a little bit better that maybe that opacity uh, something like this will give us an idea of what we want see that's not what we want it shaded the entire chart so what we got to do is begin the process go back to ChatGBT, troubleshoot it exactly say no it shaded the entire chart That's how you troubleshoot. Let's see if we can get this code up and working here relatively soon. Okay, you can see that only took a few steps. We had about three different iterations of code. Uh, we went right in here and you can see by this opacity, uh, go here to the EMA area and juice up our opacity and we are ready to go. So there you have it. That's the area between the nine and the 20 shaded. Let's go on to our next one. That's gonna be a buy signal. Okay, for our next trick, we're gonna go ahead and get a buy signal uh, programmed into our strategy. So what is that gonna be? It's gonna be a gold bar on the first bar close after the nine crosses over the 20. That's gonna be our signal to buy the market. Okay, let's have a look. All right, I want the first price bar after the nine EMA crosses over the 20 EMA to be co colored gold on its close. Please write in Pine Script version six. That's gonna be our conditional statement. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. You can see right here, okay, we've got some code. It just spit us out a little bit of code. Let's copy it. We'll go right over there to our Pine editor. Uh, remember to delete those three. Then we're gonna go cut and paste, bang, left, bang, bang. And then we're gonna go ahead and add it to the chart and see if we can get this thing to compile. Okay, there's a problem. There typically is. Don't worry, we'll solve it. All right, time to go to work. All right, there you have it. It only took a few minutes and we got in and we coded this out. You'll notice the troubleshooting process can be in depth, but there it is. There's our gold bar, there's our buy signal, the first close up above our crossover. We cross over right there, that's gonna be our buy and we're rocking and rolling. So, took us a few minutes to get it done and a few steps, a few iterations of the ChatGBT, but it learns. Remember, keep troubleshooting, you'll get what you want. All right, let's go ahead and code a sell signal. Okay, let's go ahead and code the last part of our strategy. That's gonna be our sell signal. Now, one of the great things about ChatGBT is that it learns. So you don't actually have to come up with maybe a completely new conditional statement, but this right here is an interesting application of just thinking on the fly. And instead of just saying, okay, now I want you to draw a purple one on the first bar after the nine EMA crossover, what we're gonna do is use some logic. Remember, ChatGBT learns, it hears and sees all and it learns. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, now do the opposite, the opposite of our gold bar. I want the first price bar after the nine EMA crosses under the 20 EMA to be colored purple on its close. All right, let's see if we can code it. Here we go, this is gonna be the bar that we're watching. We should get a purple bar right in here if our code works. Let's go to work and see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and roll the, roll the dice. See what happens. All right, we've got some code. We've got a new indicator working. Let's go ahead and copy the code, delete those and plug it in. And uh, here we go. Okay, we've got a problem. Let's go to work. All right, that was relatively quick, just about three steps, and we solved that problem quickly. Remember, ChatGBT learns, so you don't always have to write a new conditional statement. Just tell it exactly what you want, and it'll learn. And right there, there's our purple bar, there's our cell signal, but we've got all three components now. We've got our shaded area. Let's just turn up that opacity to show you exactly what we've got. There's our shaded 9 EMA area, so we can now tell the trend. We can tell trend strength. We know when to buy the market and when to sell the market. So that's how you code all three facets of this strategy on ChatGBT. Not too bad. It learns. Lean into technology. Don't run from it. 
All right, let's watch this evolve as price action moves forward in time. You'll notice we've got our scripts are lined up and in. Let's go ahead and our market replay function. The shade is being plotted. We're looking for buy and sell signals to form. Right there would be a sell signal, the nine crossed under the 20. Now we're looking for a buy signal. Can we get a gold bar perhaps to pop up? And you'll see right there, you've got a gold bar. So there's your buy signal, there's your sell. The coding's working properly. That's how you code your 920 EMA strategy using ChatGBT. You now have the building blocks for your own 920 EMA crossover strategy. You know when to buy, you know when to sell, and you know how to judge trend strength. From here, the sky's the limit. Now, if you have any questions, leave them below or swing by howtotrade.com. If you go there, send me a private message. I'll be sure to reply. Here's one final tip. Don't be intimidated by AI. Lean into it. It's gonna become more and more important as time goes on. All right, that's it for now. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.